Hi guys and welcome to another episode of 100% Warfare Dark Souls 2. Today we're going to be taking a look at Audius Keep and we're going to be getting every item and every secret. So there's the area after the Undead Crypt and meeting the King and getting the King's Ring. This is going to be the first door we're going to open with the King's Ring. So we're going to come to Shaded Woods and come through the middle path after heading up the steps from the bonfire. There's a ring in that water there near the tree but we got the Shaded Wood episode so don't worry about that. I believe it's the Red Tearstone Ring. Which is the one that gives you a lot of attack boost at uh, um, low health. Anyway, to open these doors, all you gotta do is put the king ring on for one or two seconds, then take it off so you don't have to worry about um, waiting until the door opens and going through to take it off. Uh, so, anyway, to start off, we're gonna come to the left. In this tall grass, there's gonna be some items uh, in this field. There's also gonna be an item, and to our left, there's going to be another item in the other tall grass. In this grass, there's also gonna be these dog rat kind of like creatures. They won't attack you unless you attack them, so don't worry about them. Uh, this is actually a mimic. I totally forgot about this when I was recording. I know it's got the dark, um, the helm piece, the headpiece of the dark suit, which is the mask or whatever of the skull. But anyway, we we'll just watch out for that um, mimic and don't do what I did. Uh, in this hut, there's a bonfire with Luke Till. Uh, if you've been following our storyline, she's like start to go hollow and she don't really remember who you are or sh who she is or anything like that. But anyway. There's going to be one more item before heading towards the building, so what we've got to do is uh, come out of the hut and go to our right of the stairs, and it's going to be down there. So now we're going to head up the stairs that is to our right and head towards the building. Before going in the building, uh, there's going to be an item in this um, pond here, water. All we've got to do is drop down from, the, uh, from above and pick it up, and just hop out the other side. Uh, once we've got the last... Um, so upstairs we're going to head to the left, there's going to be an item hidden between these walls around here. And now it's time to head into the building. Uh, there's only one path we can take at the moment in the building. And there's going to be a scripted NPC here right in front of us. Shouldn't be too hard for this level of the game. But um, if if she does hit you, she's got quite a powerful attack. But you know nothing too bad to worry about, as long as you know how to dodge her. So now, like I said, there's only one path we can take. Head through these doors just here. This video shouldn't be too long, I don't think, but, you know, she'll probably still a good 10 minutes or something, but anyway. So now I'm here, but watch out for this um, fossil kind of thing, the, the dragon. It will only do one attack on you, and then it will just kind of like disappear, so just watch out, because that, if that attack hits you, it will definitely kill you. As long as you stay near the walls, it shouldn't really be too much damage. I'm not sure if it always goes in the same place or not, but anyway, just watch out for that. Uh, before heading up the stairs, we're going to come straight in front of us through this arch. To our right, there's going to be an NPC, which... If we're hollow, uh, he'll give us a side quest to go and kill some NPCs and get some valuable items off of them. You can actually get around killing them and, and they you can get their items other ways. But um, anyway, this guy will give you rewards and all that if you go, go get the items. Uh, if you're human, he won't do the side quest. He'll just um, sell you some stuff. So, you know. But anyway, uh, coming around to the right hand side of this, there's going to be a lever with loads of signs saying don't do it or whatever, back off. If you pull that um, lever, the same merchant we just seen will be invading you in a whole lot of places. And it will cancel a side quest, so I don't really recommend that at all. Uh, and plus I've killed him at all the places that he does invade you and nothing really changes. So, you know, it's better just to do a side quest or use him as a merchant. But anyway, up the stairs behind the... The wall to our left is going to be an items with loads of these mirrors, like the mirror, the glass looking knight, uh, his shield. The, they're going to summon a load of um, these NPC kind of phantoms or whatever. Uh, once we kill them, we can go around to the left and all the way at the end of this hall. Watch out for the explosive list. Uh, there's going to be an, a chest with, I believe, great magic barrier in it. So don't miss that. Uh, now it's time to head all the way back to where the stairs were and continue through the level. So just getting back around here. Right, so uh, when we head up to these stairs just here, we are going to find this petrified guy. We want to use our fragrant branch of on him, and then we're going to go ahead and kill him. Uh, this guy is actually going to give you a unique um, headpiece. So if you're interested in that, it's the one that looks like I don't really know how to explain it. Maybe like a space suit kind of thing. I don't know. I think it looks quite cool, and I equipped it straight away. But anyway. I tried best to kill him. So you can equip this headpiece, I really like it, I don't really know why. But anyway, from here the only way we can go is up the stairs. Either way, uh it leads to the same place, so we'll just go up any other set of the stairs. Uh once we get to the top there's going to be this um giant basilisk kind of creature. You don't really have to kill him. 
and he won't be aggressive unless you do anything you can pick this item up just here if you go around to our left there's going to be a staircase all the way back down to the other platform where you are sat so it's nothing down there unless you i think i believe you can skip the fragrant branch of your part where you can um unpetrify him if you take those stairs up but uh, anyway uh, around the other side of this basilisk there's going to be a corridor passageway with a chest at the end I believe can't quite remember what this has got in it might be fire seeds or something like that but anyway like I say in all videos uh, I watched the preview on Sony Vegas and the preview is really small I can't really see what, what the items are but anyway uh, we're going to come behind the basilisk and pull this thing on this dragon's mouth and it's going to open the door behind it uh, in this corridor, there's, we've got a Pharisee's Lockstone to our right, so that's quite useful because it will light the room completely up and it makes the things a lot, lot easier in here if you want to get all the like the hidden stuff. But anyway, now I'm just going to continue. Behind the paintings in this um, room, there's going to be some enemies that hide behind them. I believe if you walk past them, they don't always ambush you, but they do sometimes, so I recommend just taking them out by yourself before they get the chance to ambush you so I'll just take this guy out and anyway now we're just going to continue through the hallway and it's going to be an item to our left just here uh, all these cages I believe can be broken by uh, the enemy that we're going to encounter in a minute so just watch out for them I believe you can attack them as well but anyway the there's no reason to um, purposely attack them because they're not really going to get us anywhere but Anyway, now to the door to our left, there's going to be this greenish kind of room. There's nothing in here. But down these stairs to our left, before heading down the second pair of stairs, there's going to be a secret room to our left here. If we press the A or X button, uh, depends what console you're on or whatever. Uh, light, light the bonfire and rest at it or whatever. Uh, so now we're going to head back out to the staircase we were on before and head to our left to continue down. Uh, there's going to be a gate with a room with loads of crows of stuff in it. Uh, I believe you should take your rings and armor off if you don't want to break them. But anyway, there's a few items down here. We'll just watch out for these dogs. I believe the best sorcery on the game is down here, which is um, Soul Gaze or something like that. I'm not quite sure what it's called. Uh, so go pick that up if you're a mage. does loads of damage. Uh, but anyway, now we're going back to the bonfire and heading back out into the hallway I was in before. Uh, just checking here for um, these guys. we we'll just watch out for these. I believe there's one or two paintings what don't have any enemies in it, but I'm just making sure. So just quickly take this guy out. Uh, now we're gonna head to our right, the door to our right, which is over here opposite this painting. Like just here, this painting didn't have anything in it, so just watch out for them. Uh, now we're gonna head into this door. I think we just got the key from the corrosive pit down there. Uh, watch out for this guy. There's only one enemy in here. And pick up that item behind the table. Sorry, there's two enemies in here. So I just go behind the table and pick up the item just here. Uh, there's nothing really much more in this room, just uh, there's, a, there's an enemy in a cage or whatever. You can attack if you want to, but there's not really much point. Uh, I'm just going to come all the way to the other end. Uh, there's a door here, heading back out to the hallway a bit further on. Uh, there is one item over here to uh, back uh, behind this, I think it's a soul. Uh, once you come out here, watch out, there's going to be another one of these guys. Uh, it, it makes sure he breaks the door. I mean, it will take us back to the passage where it was in before, and we want this guy to follow you just to um, access a hidden area which is behind this door over here with loads of locks on it. Uh, that guy will also um, break open the cage for this guy, so watch out. We only want the big guy alive at this point, just so he breaks the door to be able to get to this chest. So just try and lure him towards it. Don't worry if he kill. Don't worry if he kills you, but as long as um, he breaks the door, the the door will be open afterwards. But anyway, in this chest there's going to be a hammer, I believe. Uh, but anyway, so now we're going to head back out. That's pretty much it for this um, area. Uh, also, if you get lucky enough, he'll break this um, wall just here. But all there is is the uh, hole back down to that corrosive pit was in before. So, you know, it's not really that useful. If you know how to get to the other way, we just went where the bonfire is. But anyway, now we're just going to go um, behind the big guy and open this. There's going to be an item in this corner over here. And I believe now we are going to get sat on by that guy quite literally. But anyway, watch out for that guy breaking the wall. I totally forgot about that. But anyway, now we're out here in this beautiful view. I really, really like this view. I mean, like the first time I've seen it, I just sat there for about a good 5-10 minutes with binoculars just watching it. 
I really like how they've done this. The graphics even seem better on the game or something. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but anyway. Uh, the boss is here. It's just one of these um, red dragons. You'll be finding a lot of these in the next level anyway, so I wouldn't, they're not really that too hard to kill. So I'll just quickly finish off with this guy. Just watch out for his fire attack. That gets quite annoying. It normally... Um, it don't normally kill you, but it, it will leave you quite damaged. And especially if he flies, it's a lot harder because uh, if you ain't got a mage or anything, or when it, once he flies, you're like out of range unless you've got a burn arrow or anything. But anyway, enough about that enemy. Uh, once we kill him, we're just going to go through the opposite fog gate. Okay, so. And there'll be a lift right in front of us. <laughs> just can't help looking at that view. <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, no, sorry, I believe there's a dragon scale to have right just here, and yeah, that's definitely it for this episode. Once we got the lift, we will be in the next area, which will be next episode. Uh, we can talk to Emerald Herald, and she'll give us the feather, which is like infinite homeward bones. We can go back to um, any bonfire without um, the cost of our souls for free, and it's infinite, so that's pretty good. But anyway, that's it for this episode. Uh, all items are in the description. If this helped, you give it a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.